just got out into the woods and what we're gonna do is we're looking for turkey tracks but we're also putting out some decoys. I've got this really cool decoy I got from Mojo Outdoors and it's called a scoot and shoot. And what you're supposed to do, you'll be on the ground, you hide behind it like this and then you come forward. Now what you can also do too is it's a good decoy as well. So if you're not gonna get behind it and what they say crawl, then you can also put it in the ground as a decoy. And the cool thing is it's got these orange safety features. So if there's other hunters out here, they don't think that you're actually a turkey if you're moving. So we're gonna go put out some stuff, look for some tracks and see what we can figure out. all day and we have found what we think is the turkey freeway if you take a look down here we've got hundreds and hundreds of fresh turkey tracks right here look to my left right there in the morning that's where we're gonna set up our hunting stand it's got a really great brush pile it's gonna provide a lot of coverage for us and from what I can tell right here, this is where the turkeys have been hanging out in the mornings. So like I was telling you guys, we found this awesome natural blind. There's a lot of brush in the area. So we're gonna build it up so in the morning, like we're ready to go. This is the perfect natural blind right here. Hey, Turkey. Oh, awesome. You missed him. Well, I'm sure glad I took a break and went catfishing because that's what's for dinner tonight. Setting up these decoys on the edge of the field. So I hope that we can get one of these toms that are coming down from the roost into this thick stuff. Have him on the edge of the field so he'll come across the field. Get him positioned for a shot. It's a good morning. Nice and chilly. Let's get us a tom. So we're heading into the blind that we set up yesterday. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to film with it because we can't make any movement or any noise if we're going to try and get a turkey today. So, wish us luck. So we just got in position. We're sitting up against a tree in a natural blind and Skylar put out the hen decoys. Well, I can tell you this, there's a lot more to turkey hunting than just learning how to turkey call. After three days of getting up at 5 a.m., walking into the woods in the dark, crawling through the mud, sitting still for hours, we did see 
a few jakes, and a couple of hens. Even though I didn't land my tom this time, I still had a great time and I learned a lot about turkey hunting. It's always fun to learn something new and take it outside.